In yesterday's video, we showed you how to add custom backgrounds to your At Games Legends pinball machine. In today's video, we're going to show you how to add background music as well as a track mode screensavers, baby, right after this. Okay, dudes, we are over on our computer. We have our thumb drive plugged in. If you caught my last video on how to add custom backgrounds on your flash drive, you have to have a folder labeled HA8800 underscore background. And inside that folder is where you're going to drop your JPEG files for your backgrounds. Make sure you watch the last video on that. But in the same folder is where you're going to drop your MP3 files. So for instance here, if I wanted to open up another, if I wanted to open up another window here and just grab some um, some music data off of my PC, uh, we have some songs right here. So if I wanted to grab, let's just say, you know, if we want to grab this one, we could drop that in there. If we wanted to grab this one, I'm picking copyright free music. All right, so that's it for getting your music files added. You just need to drop them in here. Now, if you want to go ahead and get um, your attract mode videos, you do have to create a new folder, HA8800 underscore screensaver. And this is where your MP4 files, they have to be MP4 files. This is where those files are going to be dropped. Um, uh, we have a couple videos here and pretty much any mp4 you want Try and keep it under 50 megabytes For best uh, for best performance and all that kind of stuff. This one's only about 29 megabytes And let's find another one here and let's just grab I mean if you want to grab like movie trailers your favorite music videos all that kind of stuff I'm just gonna grab a couple of goofy little things here uh, Just for example, let's do uh, Let's do P-dubs. <sighs> Intro. Yeah, let's grab that one. That one's pinball related. All right, good. So now we got a few examples in there. We got our music. We got our background images. We got everything. So now we're just ready to head on over to the left. Over to the Ek Games Legends Pinball Machine. Make sure your pinball machine is turned on and go ahead and plug in your USB flash drive. And again, um, you could do this with a blank flash drive or add this to your existing add-on game flash drives, your add-on X, your CoinOps X flash drives. You can add those folders. And with your USB drive plugged in, head on over to the settings at the top and then head over to page two of the settings. You'll find the tile for user interface preferences. You're gonna go ahead and click on that. It's the exact same place we went to for the background images. You'll notice there's the box right there for background audio and it is reading the MP3 files on the drive. In order to navigate to that middle section box, you can't hit the down button. If you hit the down button, you'll cycle through your images. What you wanna do is you wanna hit the right arrow button on the uh, D-pad and it'll take you there. And now whenever you highlight a song, it'll play. You'll notice that it says local file because we're going to store this mp3 locally on the device so all you have to do is uh, pick the one you want hit that start button and if you have an existing one it'll ask you if you want to overwrite it or if it's your first time uh it'll add it if it's your first song you've ever added so I went ahead there and i went ahead and i overwrite it to change the songs and now i have background audio music turned on you don't have to have it turned on if you don't want but now i have it turned on whenever i'm navigating the menus All 
right, dudes, now let's show you the attract video. So underneath this settings tile is the attract mode tile. So you want to hop in there and you'll notice that it's defaulted to off. And once you hit the uh, coin start button on the coin door, you'll turn it on and you'll be able to access the different settings. So for instance, if you're new to the At Games Legends ecosystem, the attract mode is pretty much the same across all devices. You get to choose the time limit, one minute, three minute, five minute, 10 minutes before it turns on. If you have muted turn on, it'll play the video, but no audio. You could also have it shuffle amongst multiple videos kept on your USB. Um, and then of course it asks you what source. Do you want the default attract mode coming from the At Games server? Do you want to play just the one local file that you have installed? Or do you want to do a shuffle mode for the list of MP4s that happen to be on your flash drive if it's permanently plugged in? Again, just like the music and the background images, you can upload one file locally permanently, but you can do a shuffle mode if you have a flash drive plugged in permanently with all these files and folders on them, and it'll just randomly play each of these videos. The choice is up to you. Now, if you're using kind of like a standard video file, kind of like what you're watching right here on YouTube, just something set up in, you know, this kind of aspect ratio, it's not going to take up the entire screen. As you can see right here, that's just my intro or one of my uh, videos there, one of my um, intro videos for my channel. Um, and again, this is local file only. So I have that video installed and it's just going to keep cycling and playing the same video. You can pick whatever you want. Uh, standard videos are going to look like this. But under that settings menu, if you picked USB and shuffle, it'll just randomly play the videos that are included on your USB if that USB is plugged in all the time. In my opinion, shuffle mode is where it's at. That way you can enjoy a bunch of different videos and not get bored of the same stuff. And of course, you can hunt around the internet to try and find some videos such as this one that will take up your entire screen. <laughs> But that's how you do it, my dudes. Good luck. Hopefully you can find some awesome videos, awesome background music, as well as awesome background pictures. Make sure you check out that other video on setting your background images. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully this was an easy, fun tutorial series. Let me know your comments, feedback below. And as always, guys, give me a thumbs up on the way out. And thank you for subscribing.